death rides again on NJPW Strong, but blue justice is served at the end of the day. I'm Chris Charlton, and this is Finish Strong for the week of May the 7th, 2021. With just days separating us from Yuji Nagata and John Moxley clashing, Wednesday, May 12th on AEW Dynamite for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship, NJPW Strong, and the first night of Collision 2021, would see a star-studded main event as John Moxley returned to Friday nights and Yuji Nagata made his strong debut. But in a night full of tag team action, it all started with Kevin Knight and the DKC taking on Barrett Brown and AJ Quest. Barrett Brown has had trouble of late reconciling his clear and obvious talent with his very clear and very obvious ego. And that was definitely the case all the way through this tag team opener. Barrett Brown and the DKC exchanged well on the map before Quest was tagged in and quickened the pace with arm drags and a high cross. Brown and Quest had full control until Barrett Brown's ego once again delayed him on a potential dive and he paid the price with a Kevin Knight dropkick. When Brown was able to dive and tag in his partner, Adrian Quest took the charge, but Barrett Brown's corner quarterbacking once again almost cost his team. A German suplex and Brown was back in, but as the match broke down, it was a blind tag from Adrian Quest that led to a standing shooting star press that got the victory for the team. Yet Barrett Brown could not stand not being in the limelight and not getting the pinfall once again, leading to this. After a shocking attack on his own tag team partner, Barrett Brown had this to say backstage. Apparently, Adrian Quest had another plan. This is all about you, right? Going into business for yourself. Well, guess what, Adrian? This isn't about you. I don't answer to you. You answer to me now. So if you want to make a name for yourself in New Japan Pro Wrestling, then fight me at New Japan Strong. Let's see if you're the man. But I guarantee you, Adrian, you ain't up to the caliber of 50 caliber. Brown. Our next tag team contest saw an all-new team make their NJPW Strong debut as the West Coast Wrecking Crew of Joel Nelson and Royce Isaacs faced off against Mysterioso and Jordan Clearwater. Isaacs started with the Golden Boy and tackled Clearwater before Bulldog gave control to Jordan and Mysterioso. Mysterioso piled on the pressure and even with Nelson inside, the Wrecking Crew still couldn't find an opening. Yet when Clearwater was pushed onto the apron, Isaacs was able to open up, taking him to the floor, and that shifted the momentum of the match. Clearwater was able to respond with a neckbreaker to bring in Big Puppy Pump, who took to the air and got a two off a moonsault. But just as Mysterioso and Clearwater were building momentum, they would collide, and the West Coast Wrecking Crew was able to take over. Effective double teamwork sealing the deal and giving them a debut victory. Yeah, that's what it is, baby. You're looking at the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Roy Isaacs, Jarrell Nelson, you're looking at Superman's daddy right here. Hey. You're looking at the Mile High Samurai, and that's what we do. West Coast Wrecking Crew, our resume is already in our name. Let's expect more of that, huh? Look, look, look who showed up. Roy Isaacs and Jarrell Nelson, y'all know who we are. But y'all ain't never seen us here. And so here's the thing. When we're here, we only care about a few things. Beating people up, winning matches, winning championships. The best in the game, the rest are just lame. West Coast Wrecking Crew, get used to the name. But tonight, all eyes were on our main event as John Moxley and Chris Dickinson took on Yuji Nagata and Ren Narita. Nagata and Moxley wasted no time in tearing into one another before Nagata was able to isolate the US champion's arm and then bring in Narita. Dickinson got the tag on the opposite side and the two picked up right from where they left off at New Beginning USA where Narita handed Dickinson his first loss in New Japan Pro Wrestling. When Dickinson drove Narita out onto the floor, Mox would send the LA Dojo member into the guardrails. As Nagata tried to make his way into the match, Narita was controlled and punished by both of his opponents. Dickinson was able to lock in an STF, but a front suplex from the Nogue Dojo graduate would bring Nagata inside. Nagata would hit an emphatic double arm suplex to the Dirty Daddy, and both exchanged strikes before a dragon screw from Dickinson brought Moxie back in. Now champion and challenger collided, centering, throwing harsh strikes before a jumping high from Blue Justice, but Moxie was able to respond with a lariat and then the bulldog choke. 
Nagata muscled up and landed an exploder, which led to a tag to Narita. Narita threw all he had at Moxley and threw the US champion almost out of his boots with a series of suplexes. But one last Narita special was stopped and countered with a German suplex. And as Nagata was dropped off the apron by Dickinson, a Death Rider ended the match. But after the match, it was Lou Justice being served. John Moxley felt Nagata Lock 2 as his challenger on AEW Dynamite had to be pulled off by every hand available. Will it be Nagata Lock 2 bringing the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship to Yuji Nagata? You're going to have to find out Wednesday on AEW Dynamite. On Strong next week, meanwhile, we have a phenomenal elimination main event next Friday night. Team Filthy is in full force as strong openweight champion Tom Lawler heads up a team of Chris Dickinson, JR Kratos and Danny Limelight to take on Carl Fredericks, Brody King, TJP and Clark Connors. After Clark Connors and Carl Fredericks threw all they had at one another during the LA Dojo Showcase, what is the next step for Clark Connors on NJPW Strong? And as Tom Lawler seeks to make his first defense of the strong openweight championship, against his own teammate Chris Dickinson. Will the fight team work like a fight dream or will it become a nightmare next Friday night on NJPW Strong? That's it, we've finished Strong for another week. Until next time, Kokigenyo, sayonara.